वेलकम एवरी वन दिस इज योर ओन चैनल लॉन सागा इन दिस वीडियो वी विल डिस्कस द फोर्थ चैप्टर ऑफ योर बुक बी हाइव अ ट्रूली ब्यूटिफुल माइंड इट्स अ बायोग्राफी द टाइटल एज इट इज अ ट्रूली ब्यूटिफुल माइंड सो बाय ब्यूटिफुल माइंड वी जनरली मीन्स वी जनरली मीन अ पर्सन having some good mind having a good notion having some good qualities and that virtuous person uh, may may have some good talents we have seen in our day to day life the persons who are good to their family members who have uh, good talents in doing their own work but in this case the beautiful mind is not only applicable in this limited sense here it has some broad perspective such as a person who has a beautiful mind to do some noble work for the sake of others not only for himself or his family but for the whole world or uh, we may say at least to the society so here a truly beautiful mind as the title suggests it applies for the great legend albert einstein the great scientist that the world has ever produced before starting uh, to read this biography of albert einstein uh, we should read this portion that is before you read but i like to request you uh, to press the like button and subscribe the channel if you are new and also to comment and share the video before starting this portion so without wasting any time let's begin who do you think of when you hear the word genius yes when we hear the word genius definitely some uh, image Uh, come to our mind it may be a person of great talent in the educational field or maybe a sports person or it may be a film star or maybe our family member then the question is who is a genius what qualities do you think a genius has definitely if we are to define the word genius then we should say a person who has talent who has virtue maybe his virtue is in the field of education maybe his talent uh, is in the field of uh, sports so it varies but he or she must have some talent as in this case the great scientist albert einstein had his knowledge his talent in uh, learning his talent is acquiring knowledge and then later he became the greatest scientist ever now we shall now read about a young german civil servant who took the world by storm about a 100 years ago that means uh, about a 100 years ago there was a general civil servant and who shook the world who uh, bewitched the world in the summer of 1905 the 26 year old published a quick succession published in quick succession four ground breaking papers okay so when he was only 26 year old he published four ground breaking papers about light the motion of particles the electrodynamics of moving bodies and energy so uh, when he was only 26 year old he published his papers his research paper about four vital elements those were about light about the motion of particles about the electrodynamics of moving bodies and energy his work 
took up only a few pages in scientific journals. But during that time, his work took up only a few pages. That means, uh, it was not taken very seriously by the scientific journals. But, changed forever our understanding of space, time and the entire cosmos and transformed the name Einstein into synonym for genius. However, uh, at the very initial stage, his talent was not recognized, but later his name, the name Einstein, it became synonymous for genius. It became a synonym. It is the name of genius. So, when uh, a person is asked, what is genius? He may answer, genius means Einstein. And how this happened? It happened, his, um, his research paper that initially was not uh, taken very seriously. Later, it changed the understanding of people about space, about time and, the, and about the entire cosmos. Cosmos means the total universe, the universal system. Fifty years after his death, Albert Einstein's genius still reign and we have already uh, lost this great genius and fifty years have passed. Still, he is recognized as a genius. Now the first paragraph. Albert Einstein was born on 14th March 1879 in the German city of Ulm. So there was a city in German called Ulm. Albert Einstein was born there on 14th March 1879 without any indication that he was destined for greatness. Yes, no one could predict at that time that one day this boy would become a genius. Destined means it was uh, determined, it was, uh, it was destiny, it was fate. So the line says without any indication that he was destined for greatness. That means there was no indication that anyone could say that his destiny was to become a great, a great scientist. On the contrary, his mother thought Albert was a freak. So, although he uh, now we recognize him as a great scientist, but at the at his childhood, he was not recognized and he had uh, not been identified by anyone as a person whose destiny is to achieve greatness. Rather, on the contrary, his mother thought that he was a freak. Freak means a person having unusual behavior as it is given here in your book. So, freak means... A person who is uh, not usual, who is not normal rather. To her, his head seemed much too large. And according to her mother, the little boy, Albert Einstein's head was very big. So the first paragraph says that Albert Einstein was not a talent from the very beginning. He was a very common boy common student like us and no one could think that he would achieve success the peak of success one day and it was contradictorily thought by his mother by his mother that this boy was a freak a, an unusual person who don't want who uh, who doesn't want, uh, doesn't know how to behave at the age of two and a half, Einstein still wasn't talking. So, when he uh, was at the age of two and a half, 
still he was not able to talk properly when he finally did learn to speak he uttered everything twice again another twist initially when he was 2 uh, and a half years old till then he could not say word but after that when he learned to speak he uttered everything twice that means suppose he was to say uh, mother give me a glass of water then uh, probably he would say mother mother please please give give me me like that so everything he uttered twice Einstein did not know what to do with other children and his playmates called him brother brother bro, brother boring so you can understand here that uh, as he, he had no uh, tendency he had no inclination to play with other children so his playmates used to call him as boring as brother boring so the youngster played by himself much of the time that's why as he had no uh, playmates because all the playmates used to think about him as something boring person as some boring uh, boy that's why he had to play by himself he especially loved mechanical toys see here uh, past for the first time in this biography we have uh, heard about the boy's liking and his liking about the mechanism the mechanical toys looking at his newborn sister maja he is said to have said fine but where are her wheels see as he was very much fond of uh, mechanical toys and uh, as the mechanical toys have um wheels especially in case of cars when he first time saw his newborn sister maja uh, wrapped up in the towel as a newborn baby he asked um he asked his parents maybe that uh, where are her wheels so you can understand that uh, how much inclined he was to mechanical toys as the toys have wheels similarly the little einstein took his uh, newborn sister as a mechanical toy and without uh, seeing her legs as her legs were wrapped up in towel as the new babies generally are wrapped up so without noticing them without looking them uh he asked where are her wheels not legs where are her wheels so uh, regarding this we can say that he had the tendency towards mechanical toys mechanism this was the first sign we get that this boy has the tendency or the inclination towards mechanism A headmaster once told his father that what Einstein chose as a profession wouldn't matter because he will never make a success at anything. So, uh, quite contradictorily, a headmaster once told his father about Einstein that it doesn't matter whatever the profession he would accept, he would opt because, according to the headmaster, Einstein would never make. any success so it was very uh, contradictory thing because as of now we recognize him as a great scientist but during that time his headmaster predicted otherwise einstein began learning to play the violin at the age of 6 because his mother wanted him to he later became a gifted amateur violinist maintaining the skill throughout his life so as his mother wanted him to play the violin einstein learned that art and he was a gifted amateur viol- violinist he maintained this skill throughout his life so you can have uh, you can remember this thing that uh, this great scientist 
was also a great violinist and you can have the meaning of amateur here amateur means doing something for personal enjoyment rather than as a profession number four but albert einstein was not a bad pupil pupil means a student he was not a very bad student he went to high school in munich munich is a city in german where einstein's family had moved when he was 15 months old and scored good marks in almost every subject so you can see that he was not a bad pupil he was a, a good one we can say and he studied uh, to a high school in a high school in munich <clears throat> when he was 15 months old then his family were shifted there and so he scored there good marks almost in every subject einstein hated the school's regimentation and often clashed with his teachers and uh, here the striking thing that he hated the school's regimentation regimentation means the discipline the manner that they used to teach students and einstein had problems with those and often he clashed with his teachers at the age of 15 einstein felt so stifled there that he left the school for good and at the age of 15 he felt so stifled there that means he was so uh, suffocated he felt so suffocated there that means the surrounding the atmosphere was not suitable for him that's why he left the school for good for good is a phrase students for good means forever so at the age of 15 he left that school forever so in this video up to this student and we will discuss the remaining portion in our next videos but if you have any problem regarding our uh, present topic that is up to paragraph number four you may please comment me i will try to answer you as soon as possible so till then goodbye